here we are, we're in the, in the middle of uh, a city that's 465 square miles. Uh, the official population is 7, 8 million people. Um, all together, they're really around 11 or 12 million people here. Those diverse cultures, those diverse people, so many people coming here to chase their dreams, you know, to get ahead, to make something of themselves. Anytime you have that much conflict coming together, it's, it's an enormous canvas for someone who writes about the types of things that I, I write about. You know, the, the new book is titled Chasing Darkness. I grew up in South Louisiana. Um, it's totally unlike this. In Louisiana, everything is flat. And we lived at the backside of a drive-in movie theater. And I think that probably had a lot to do with, with my love of storytelling and, and, and what I want to bring to my work. Uh, there's, there are no films uh, more insane and gonzo than the movies that show on a southern drive-in circuit. And I listen to that every night for, uh, throughout my childhood. The new book, Chasing Darkness, opens in fire season. The horror of fire is, is that it cleans out the old and it, and it uncovers things. Uh, that's what happens at the beginning of, of, of Chasing Darkness. And um, it is a nightmare for Elvis Cole. Elvis came about when my father died in 1985. As I've always done, I used my writing as sort of self-therapy to figure out things. Um, I like to say I was given a little Calvin and Hobbes transmogrifier when I was born, and I took that situation and my fears and whatnot, and I stuffed it in the transmogrifier, and out popped this character named Elvis Cole. Elvis Cole is a, a kid from nowhere with a spotty background, uh, did his military service, did not go to college, uh, and he's made a life for himself. You know, books are a very, very personal art form. Um, they're a collaborative art form unlike any other. When you look at the book, it, it, it actually is not a completed piece of art. Uh, the art isn't completed until a reader reads it.